Hello, I'm Tommy Moore from the Bartitsa Lab. In this quick video, we're just going to summarise attacks from the blind side. Now, the blind side can either be to my side or behind me. And obviously, any attack that gets me from there is going to be a lot more devastating because I hit, I see coming, I can subconsciously prepare for, I can drop my chin a bit, I can be psychologically ready. Even if my conscious brain hasn't spotted it, some part of me might allow me to instinctively cover and defend myself. If I don't see it coming, bang! Could be a punch, hammer, stab, push me into a wall, could be really bad for me. So if I've started to get the spidey sense that the attack is coming from the blind side, what can I do? And how can I navigate that particular thing? The important thing is job one. If he's got the position of advantage against me, he's got the blind side, he's got my six, or he's got me at nine or three. So I don't know, really know where he is, how big he is, what he's holding, what I do know is I might be under threat. First thing is to not get fucked over. So you need to protect yourself. So I said the first thing instinctively you need to do is drop that fucking chin. Whatever you decide to, however you decide to attack, turn, whether it's a turn or whether it's an attack as you turn or whatever the fuck you want to do, drop your chin. Because the most dangerous threat for you right now will be brain shake from being thumped really hard, knocked unconscious, and then he can do what the fuck he likes to you. Or indeed, it might be something a bit more bladed. Yeah? So it might be something coming in at my neck. Either way, if I raise my shoulders and duck my chin, I'm in a position where it's quite hard to knock me out, even with a heavy tool. You know, because it really still really fucking hurt, but to knock me out requires you being able to shake my brain. If I tuck and I raise my shoulders, instinctively, that's at least something. That's a bit of a safeguard. The next thing, obviously, is as soon as I sense that threat's happening, you know, I don't want to wait till I've been hit for me to do this. You know, that's my initial reaction. Shoulders up, chin down, boom. I'll keep my chin up because it was hard for me to talk to the camera with my chin down. So do bear with me. Do as I say, not as I do in these. So shoulders up, chin down. Now I need to orientate myself to the threat. If you follow the OODA loop, I need to observe, orientate, decide and act. So ideally for me, you do this combatively. So there are two distinct ways in which you can do it. I prefer whether it's an elbow, forearm, edge of hand blow, fucking back fist, whatever you want to do, whatever comes out at this angle. You can come on a lateral line, so a horizontal line. So you've tucked. I think of this like an obstinate chainsaw. You burst it hard and orientate yourself towards a threat. That's really important. Being able to burst up and hit like this after you've done job one. Stop yourself getting knocked the fuck out. So bursting up, and that could be elbow, forearm, edge of hand, whatever the fuck you want, okay? Now, if it comes on a diagonal, it comes on a horizontal line, if he leans back just a little, you may miss entirely. So if he leans back just a little, and I've gone horizontal, it could be a clean miss, okay? So be ready for that clean miss. One mitigation against that is get used to, if you feel like you've missed, at least get the grab. So if I've missed the elbow, whoom, grab a lump of his face, extend him, chin the cunt. But again, I'm not hugely keen all the time on attacks that come around on a horizontal plane because any flinch in, sorry, any flinch in can compress it and any flinch out means I miss. If you do miss, building that contingency to grab a lump of something and attack anyway. But you want to orientate yourself to him in a way which is aggressive, that puts me facing the threat, because that allows you to deal with that threat. What is much more preferable in my book is things that come somewhat diagonally, because that extends down. So even if he leans back just a little, I'll still hit him somewhere. Now I might not have got him on the jaw or the throat now, but I've got him a little bit at least on the torso, so I've indexed him somewhat. I can grab him, move him, hit him. I've got something, I've landed something on him combatively. So the difference between a horizontal attack, you can miss, but build in a mitigating safeguard, such as a face grab, if you do miss. But much better is again, shoulders up, chin down, the diagonal axes, elbow, forearm, hammer fist, whatever the fuck you gotta do, that comes across. Because then even if he leans out a little bit, or even if he comes in, I've at least got that space if he compresses me, because I've done diagonal, I've got a little bit of a hinge 
to post off an attack. So that diagonal response to an attack from the side of the back is a really good way to cause some serious damage and to keep yourself safe. And then obviously once you've done that, so you've spotted the threat, you're aware of threats happen, you've instinctively raised your shoulders and dropped your chin to avoid the concussion, to keep yourself more stable and to mitigate yourself against any weapons that might be coming around. You've explosively turned to face the threat and you've used a diagonal where possible. <laughs> now you need to turn the tide, which means massive forward pressure. So once I've got this, then I need to drive through an attack because he'll be bearing down. It won't just be one shot, it'll be multiples, he'll be moving with it. So once I've done that, this is surprise enough. <laughs> but now I need to go 100 miles an hour through. <laughs> So get ready to shorten the gap between minimum viable product, don't get knocked out. Boom. Explosive attack to reorientate and observe where the enemy is. Get hands on him. And then burst through, move through, move your legs. Your legs are really important in fighting. People tend to do too much hand stuff and leave their legs back. You need to drive through as if you're a sprinter, moving through him. So power your legs, use your quads, if you're a rugby player, move, move through him. So keep safe, don't get knocked out, smash the cunt violently with whatever you feel most comfortable with, knowing that diagonal can often work better than horizontal. Once you've done that and you're orientated towards the threat, move at 100 miles an hour through him, but make sure your legs are powering, your legs are powering that motion. Short, sharp, simple. Don't get attacked from behind upon the side. Have your awareness. Cheers.